Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Chef Dama. Today I'm going to take you on a trip to the south of India and I'm going to pay homage to the mighty black peppercorn. Not many people know that pepper was actually the original spice of India. Most people associate chilies with Indian cuisine, but actually it was pepper that was the original spice that spiced almost everything in India. Christopher Columbus actually set forth trying to find a quicker route to get pepper to Europe. Unfortunately, or fortunately, he stumbled upon South America and instead of pepper, he brought chilies. Chilies then came to India and that's why we use it in the cuisine today. But pepper was the original spice of what the major trade routes were all about back in the 15th century and earlier. So today I'm going to make a dish which uses pepper as a predominant spice. I'm going to be making a pepper chicken chetinad and we're going to serve it with a wonderful crispy succulent dosa. So without any further ado, let's cook! is a dosa is a South Indian crepe. It is a thin crispy crepe that is made with rice and lentils. Dosas take a long time to make. You do have to plan a little bit in advance mainly because the rice needs to be soaked for a long period of time along with the dal and it needs to be ground and then allowed to ferment for a long period of time so that it gets that nice sour taste. So when planning to make dosa, you got to think almost about a day ahead. The ratio for a dosa batter is a cup of rice to a quarter cup of a dal. To this you add about a quarter teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, also known as methi seeds. Cover with water and leave this aside to soak. After your mixture is sufficiently soaked, your rice should have plumped up and your lentils should have bloomed, transfer this mixture to a blender. Cover with about a cup of water. You can always adjust the consistency later by adding more. Set it to blend. You want the end result to be a medium thick batter. Check the consistency, the rice and the lentils will still be grainy, but that's what you're looking for. Our dosa batter is now ready and we have to leave it overnight in order for it to ferment. We need to find a nice warm place to do so and I can't think of a better place to do this than in the microwave. We just leave the dosa in the microwave overnight and it just gets perfect the next day. Okay, so let's get ready to cook some pepper chicken chicken First things first, we need to cut up our chicken. Cut the boneless chicken thigh meat into bite-sized pieces. We prefer the thigh meat as it is juicy, it has a lot more flavor. And hey, you know, it's cheaper. Take a cup of yogurt, mix in some salt, and add some ginger garlic paste. The key ingredient in pepper chicken chetnut is of course pepper. I'm using telecherry peppercorns. You can get this at Costco. Telecherry peppercorns come from telecherry in India and these peppercorns are slightly larger than the average peppercorns that you can get. The flavor monumentally different. I like a little grain to reflect in the dish so I'm hand pounding it with a mortar and pestle. You could use a grinder if you'd like. Add your ground peppercorns to the marinade. Give it a good stir and squeeze in the juice of one lime. Your marinade is now ready and it's time to add the chicken. Mix well and let this sit aside. An hour is good, six hours even better. First things first, we need to do a little bit of mise en place. Start off with onions. We start with finely chopping some onions. Next a serrano or some Thai chilies. A 
couple of tomatoes, finely chopped. Set these ingredients aside, we're now gonna start cooking. Heat some oil in a pan, add in the onions. Cook the onions till they turn approximately golden brown. Then add the ginger and the garlic paste. Stir this around for a couple of minutes till the moisture evaporates and you start to get a really pleasant smell from the ginger and the garlic. Add the green chilies. Cook for another couple minutes and then add the tomatoes. You want to use the juice of the tomatoes to deglaze the pan, that is to scrape up the stuck bits at the bottom of the pan. Believe me, that's where the flavor is. Cook the tomatoes till you achieve a sort of paste-like consistency. And now add the chicken, marinate and all. Let the chicken cook a little, add in some fresh curry leaves. Finally, a generous heaping of garam masala powder. Mix well, cover and let this cook till the chicken is done and the gravy thickens up. Let's get ready to make some dosas. Dosas, as you know, are very much like crepes and so to make a dosa, you're gonna need something like a crepe pan. And I've got here this beautiful non-stick pan. It's not really that expensive, but it really does the job well. The other thing you have to keep in mind about dosas, like a crepe, dosas don't taste good when they get cold. So you pretty much have to make a dosa very, very close to service time. Heat a little bit of oil in the crepe pan, give it a good swirl, and using a paper towel or a clean cloth, wipe off the excess. Add in a cupful of the batter into the center of the pan, and using the base of the bowl, Drop it in the center and mark circular motions to spread this out. Now remember, we're having this dosa with a curry, so we don't want it too thin. We want it slightly thick to be able to absorb the gravy. Allow this to cook for about three to three and a half minutes and you'll know it's done when the surface dries up. It's time to flip. Oh yeah, golden brown achieved. Drizzle a little bit of oil around the sides and let it cook for about another minute and a half more. Flip it round. Oh yes, we're done. The chicken chutney has been simmering for about 30 to 40 minutes. The chicken is beautifully cooked, the gravy is thickened up, and I've added potatoes to this mixture. It's not mandatory, but I love potatoes in this dish. Garnish with cilantro leaves and have your dosa set on the side. Friends, lunch is served. There you have it. Wonderful, delicious chicken chitnad and on the side, wonderful crispy dosas. This is a phenomenal meal. Most of us know only North Indian food in the United States, but really, give South Indian food a chance, you will not be disappointed. Hope you like this recipe and I really hope you'll give it a try. This is Chef Dama signing out, wishing one and all, Happy eating.